Hello, dear ones. It's Alice. I'm of the stars. And I have uh, two additions to the section on subconscious metaphors and figures of speech and how the subconscious mind, when it comes into play instead of the conscious mind coming into play, begins to act out subconscious metaphors in a unique way that makes sense to, to it rather than to our conscious minds. Um, the first one has to do with an astral story that I heard in, in recent um, weeks, maybe in the last month or so. I don't know what the cause of it is. It's a very good illustration of what I have to provide for you with regard to subconscious language. Um, according to the astral story, which was repeated three times, there was a person who wasn't able to, a man who wasn't able to uh, to actually perform the act of sex anymore, but he wanted to do that, and instead of performing the act of sex, he, he had in mind using a foreign object, what they say, it, instead of using the usual, okay? So he would place ads in the personals and, and have and, and entice young, young people over, young men in this case, before the age of adulthood, and, and he would ask them if he could put his screwdriver in their rectum. And they would somehow be thinking he was talking about the smooth end of the screwdriver, but instead, he, uh, in two cases, he, he inserted the sharp end of the screwdriver and ripped up their, uh, their intestines in the rectum area. And uh, the, it, sad as this story is, and as much as it might cost in terms of sutures in the emergency room for the children and, and um, special medicines to prevent infection while healing and special diets and all the things that it would be required to get over an extremely traumatic incident like this, nevertheless, it provides a good illustration of the of the word to screw. And so the subconscious mind might have been thinking, but it wants to screw. And then it might have turned the screwdriver around in his hand as if it were screwing something, you know, and that's how those awful uh, situations happened. That's one instance. So this, uh, these visions that I had happened on the astral plane, so clearly there's not one thing I can do about it. I can't take it to the police, because I don't even know if there's a word of truth in it. But I could say to the young people out there, the preteens and the early teens, that if you get an offer like that, and you're looking through the want ads and the personals, despite the fact that you know it's kind of dangerous and somebody seems to be real polite and real nice and real willing to teach you things and then they offer to insert a foreign object in an, in an opening whatever opening that might be you, you, I would leave just then because according to the psychologists from what I've read people who insert foreign objects instead of doing the usual they, there's something wrong, like a psychosis or something like that, that makes it impossible for them to do that thing. For instance, I ran into someone on the physical plane uh, in the year 2020 who, who uh, he, I don't know why it was, but instead of, um, instead of being, he was unable to get himself or for some reason unable to perform as a man would perform in the act of sex, but instead he used a symbolic thing, an elongated object, uh, instead of that, in a very dainty way, for instance, he would take his little finger like this, uh, the other hand, his little finger like this, and when the other person had their palm facing up like this, he would take his little finger and just tap it gently on that person's palm, and to him, for some reason, to his subconscious mind, that represented the act of sex. And uh, there was another instance that I, on the psychic plane, I, possibly with the same person or someone else, that I ran into, uh, where they, instead of, what they would use was a ballpoint pen with the cap still on it, and they would gently touch the area that 
that a, a other, another person might think of to use for the act of sex, but instead they would use what is called a foreign object. There was yet another instance on the, on the astral plane in a vision that I had of a, of a man who, for, because of a horrible childhood accident, and I've written about this before, um, was for some reason uh, unable to commit to the act of sex and instead he would he would spit on someone else and that spitting that act of spitting was for him as if he had had the act of sex now people like this uh, who I, I'm not saying that young young people preteens and, and early teens should be engaging in the act of sex. All I'm saying is that sometimes you guys are lured into situations like this with people who have what is called a psychosis. Then from some reading that I've done in Wikipedia and WikiHow and like that, apparently the, there are certain kinds of psychoses that result that if that are like a way of compensating for something, some other thing, some anxiety, for instance, say with regard to the act of sex. And so if you interfere with those and try and change it to something more normal, then there can erupt a great uh, a well of negative emotion, according to what I've read, that can result in violence to you. So uh, in case, just in case this thing about pen penetration or even touching with a foreign object is like that, I would suggest for the young people, especially the young people of Los Angeles, the young people anywhere in the United States, uh, uh, to understand that, that the expression of these types of perversions uh, towards you as, as someone that the person thinks might not know what they're up to you know, might not understand what's going on, is is a potentially dangerous situation. I would suggest just leave right away. And in fact, I had another vision about a man, uh, a grown man that that first person lured in and then showed him the screwdriver and said, "Would you mind if I use this?" And this grown man who knew what was what was up and what was down said. Never in a million years could you do a thing like that to me. And he just walked right out again. And why not be like that, that, that wise person, I say. So that's your first um, metaphor, subconscious metaphor. It has to do with a screwdriver using to screw. Actually meaning, a slang word meaning a sexual intercourse. Now I have one more for you, but I'm going to start it on a new video.